Hello viewers, there is an important topic which I would like to discuss with you very briefly and the topic is the greatest enemy of the soul. The greatest enemy of the soul. The demons or demonic spirits are not that mighty that the name of Jesus called upon them at once will be ineffective, ineffective or inadequate enough to drive them away. There exist diverse, diverse reasons for unanswered prayers. One is prayer of a sinner. Sins make a prayer abomination before God. Another is praying amidst the strongest warrior or prayer warrior hmm, is the spirit. You need him to guide you in your prayers. Lack of faith is another hindrance to answered prayer. Aside the aforementioned reason for unanswered prayers, there is one which seems to be unnoticed. It is so stubborn that if it is not identified, and worked upon it will ruin the container listen to me this is not intended to raise perplexity or nervousness or panic disorder but just an high opener to the things of the spirit before i reveal this enemy shall we please consider this text together first the book of ephesians chapter 4 from verse 21 down to 24 the bible says since you have heard about Jesus and have learned the truth that comes from him. Throw off your old sinful nature and your former way of life which is corrupted by lust and deception. Instead, let the spirit renew your thoughts and attitudes. Put on your new nature created to be like God truly righteous and holy. Hmm. Here is the second, Romans chapter 12, verse 1. The book of Romans chapter 12, verses 1 and 2. And so, dear brothers and sisters, I plead with you to give your bodies to God because of all He has done for you. Let them be a living and holy sacrifice, the kind He will find acceptable. This is truly the way to worship Him. Don't copy the behavior and custom of this world. But let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. Then you will learn to know God's will for you, which is good and pleasing and perfect. Hmm. From the two texts, it can be observed that a very significant change needs to occur in something by allowing the Spirit of God to operate on it. That is the human mind, human's mind of thought. What makes a man wander away from the life of God? Hmm? Isn't it the mind full of darkness? Why is it difficult to change such mind? Isn't it because they are hopelessly confused? My brothers and sisters, the greatest enemy of the soul is our mind. If it has been given to the devil to operate upon, do you know that one's mind can be made dull? Hmm? Or be blinded? or be closed above all the greatest and the best thing that could happen to one's mind is to be handed over to god's spirit the bible in the book of ephesians chapter 4 verses 1 and the 22 says since you have heard about jesus and learned the truth that comes from jesus throw off your old sinful nature devilish activities of the mind and your former ways of life which is corrupted by lust and deception Instead, let the spirit renew your thoughts, your mind, and your attitude. Hmm. Are you a sex addict? You need Jesus and have to surrender the totality of your life to the spirit. Are you an alcoholic or secretly? You are not left out. He can save you. All you need is expose your mind to him and let him perform a spiritual surgery on it. And you shall be well saved. No matter how much you are enslaved to these sinful habits, the power in the blood of Jesus is so much empowered to deliver you from this, the, the sinful habits. Are you a believer? I mean a Christian. Yet, you swim in the pool of sin. Let God search you and put his law in your mind. He will shape and guard it for you. Be washed in the blood of Jesus and you shall be made free. God bless you. Amen. Thank you. If by now you like to become a Christian, I mean, you want to be born again. Good that you decide. 
A guilty conscience need no accuser. You can't keep on sinning and expect God to show you more and more of his wonderful grace. Realistically, a good conscience is a soft pillow. Mind you, you can't have a good conscience outside Jesus. Jesus is the way, the truth, and life. I therefore direct you to him, for by knowing him, you are free indeed. It is often said that a good mind possesses the kingdom. Well, but I paraphrase it, saying, a saved soul possesses the kingdom. Now that you are ready to follow Christ, confess him as the Lord and Savior, and you shall be saved. Renounce sin, the devil, and his works. Then choose to follow Christ. The Lord bless you. In Jesus' name, congratulations. Jesus loves you. Give him life. In him is the life of the world. God bless.